Hi everyone, my name is Flavia and I'm going to present the paper entitled Effectively Scheduling Hard and Soft Real-Time Tasks on Multiprocessors. This is the presentation overview. So first we introduce and motivate the problem, present the research context and goals. Then the proposed approach is presented which relies on two special components which are the single client server and the Slack server. After that, we present some experimental results and make some final remarks. In order to motivate the problem, uh, let us consider this illustrative example, which is simple and composed of two hard tasks which are scheduled according to EDF and have implicit deadline. Task tau 1 has an execution time of 1 and period of 2, while task tau 2 has an execution time unit have an execution time of three time units and period of 10. So we must ensure we know that real-time system must guarantee that hard tasks will not miss their deadline. However, the presence of soft and periodic tasks may jeopardize the system schedulability. Let us consider this simple example here in which we have two jobs of soft tasks released. Observe that these jobs are accommodated in the system and no hard task misses its deadline. However, if any of these jobs overrun, then hard tasks may miss their deadlines. For multiprocessor real-time system, this scenario may be replicated in several processors. So, in this paper, we deal with the issue of scheduling soft tasks in hard real-time systems. To do so, we, have, we aim at achieving three main goals, which are guarantee schedulability for hard sporadic tasks, take advantage of processors per capacity, and minimize the average response time of soft tasks. It is important to keep in mind that hard and soft tasks have different correctness metrics. For example, if we consider hard tasks, we have to ensure that deadlines for all of them have to be met. However, when we focus on soft tasks, we may determine the focus of the system to be the responsiveness of soft tasks and the low deadline is ratio. Uh, a well-known solution to deal with soft and periodic tasks in hard real-time system is based on servers, which are special components and that work as a scheduling proxies to the system. These components are able of providing both temporal isolation and slack reclaiming. Many real-time solutions have been proposed for uniprocessor real-time system for dealing with these mixed task sets. However, to the best of our knowledge, few solutions have been proposed for multiprocessor scheduling. Some of them, as the one presented here, have a specific system model which are hard to be um, adapted to more flexible models. Other focus on TBS and CBS, which have been ex are two well-known servers, which have been extended and or adapted for multiprocessor architecture. Our main contribution is the Slack server component, which allows to safely execute soft tasks in hard real-time system, is capable of reclaiming unused Slack from hard and soft tasks to improve the system responsiveness, especially focusing on soft tasks. The Slack server component is also based on well-stated rules and its deadline may be defined according to different strategies. During our implementation, we have noticed that the Slack server may be attached to different EDF-based scheduling policy, which shows the adaptability and flexibility of our approach. Our system model assumes hard and soft tasks scheduled on M processors, M identical processors, tasks execute their average execution time, and for soft tasks, these are understood as expected parameters. Our underlying scheduling policy is partition EDF. The main idea of our solution relies on two servers, which are the single client server and Slack server. Together, these servers are capable of providing temporal isolation and slack reclaiming. When coupled with the chosen scheduling approach, which is partition in DF, we have two scheduling approaches solutions. 
The first one is EDF LQ, which focus, which states that soft tasks are placed in each processor's local queue. The other one is EDF GQ, which places soft tasks in a global queue. Let's take a look at an overview of these approaches. Observe that partitioning in EDF LQ considers both hard and soft tasks. After partitioning, which occurs offline, tasks are assigned to processors and cannot migrate. This is different from EDF for EDFGQ. In this approach, partitioning considers only hard tasks, which are assigned to processors and cannot migrate. For soft tasks, they are placed in a global queue and are assigned to processors at runtime according to a specific job assign to a specific job assignment procedure. The offline partitioning is carried out according to an approximation function of the demand bound function, which we call here DBF star. This function was proposed by Barwa and Fisher and is, state in, is, state, is stated according to equation 1. If we want to know that a given test tau y can be successfully assigned to processor Px, for example, conditions 2 and 3 must hold. If tau 1 cannot be assigned to any processor, then the partitioning procedure fails. So let us present the first component in our approach. This component is the single client server. Its main idea is to provide temporary isolation, and to do so, it encapsulates each soft task into a single server with the same expected utilization and deadline of its clients. In case of any overrun of in soft tasks job, this is dealt with uh, via Slack server component, which is the one we describe next. So the Slack server is, although it's, this component can provide temporary isolation, it focus on Slack reclaiming. So all processor and used capacity is set to the Slack server. Its deadline is then adjusted and the budget is computed accordingly. It's important to mention that the Slack server is also capable of reclaiming unused Slack from both hard and soft tasks. The deadline of the Slack server is computed according to equation 4, where dmin and dmax are respectively the minimum and maximum deadlines of hard tasks in the system. The Slack server is composed of three main rules. The first is the job release rules, which is the job release rule, which states how is the pattern for delivering for releasing the job of the Slack server. So in our approach, we assume an implicit deadline release pattern, which occurs as described in these blue cross-hatched boxes. For the Slack server service, we define how the Slack server behaves when soft tasks are present during the scheduling. When soft tasks are present, which is the first example here, if there is any pending execution soft task to be executed, um, the system will wait so that the job of the Slack server is selected to execute according to EDF rules and then the soft task is assigned to the server so that it can be executed. The second rule is the service rule which, in, which defines the behavior of the system when the Slack server is selected to run and there is no soft job to be executed. In this context, the Slack server execution is delayed, the the, its deadline is postponed and its budget is updated, as described in this figure. And the last rule uh, defines the behavior of the server when it is selected to run, but it has no soft job assigned to it and no hard task to be executed in the system. In this case, the Slack server runs empty. The last rule is the Slack stealing rule. And which define what is the behavior of the service in case of early completion of jobs. In this case, the remaining execution must be summed to the Slack server um, budget. 
In our paper, we define an important theorem which states the correctness of our proposal. The theorem states that no hard task misses any of its deadline when the system tests are scheduled by either EDF-LQ or EDF-GQ. Now we discuss our experimental results. Our experiments were um, configured according to two main sets. The first, in the first set of experiments, we have experiments 1 and 3, in which hard and soft tasks they have the same distribution. Experiment 2 varies the distribution of hard and soft tasks. We considered scheduling of simulation in 2, 4 and 8 processors. We assumed average execution time model for both hard and soft tasks, unconstrained deadlines, and also we fixed hard tasks utilization in 80%. The, soft, the utilization of soft tasks were ranged according to what is shown in the table in 5, 10, 15, and 20 percent of the available slack. So the first parameter we present here is the deadline miss ratio. On the left we have results for task sets in which hard tasks execute 55 percent of their worst case execution time and on the right we have results for task sets in which hard tasks execute 75 percent on average of their worst case execution time. In both scenarios, we can notice that EDF-GQ behaved better than EDF-LQ. EDF-GQ actually presented better results. Um, it is important to mention about these graphics that the processor utilization uh, shown in the x-axis is refers to the effective system utilization. Um, let's recall that in EDF-LQ, soft tasks execute in the context of single client servers. So in case of any overrun, it will be dealt with in the context of the Slack server, which means that if any job of soft task overrun in EDF-LQ, it have to wait until the Slack server is released so that it can be executed. This does not, does not happen in the context um, for EDF-GQ. For EDF-GQ, soft tasks are always executed in the context of um, the Slack server. We also have results for the average response time of tasks. And these results are norm normalized by each task's relative deadline. And also, again, EDF-GQ presented a better result than EDF-LQ. This, this figure here shows the result when we varied the task distribution. So the subgraphs, the subgraph on the left side of the picture, we show task sets in which hard tasks were great, the number of hard tasks were greater than the number of soft tasks. And the right side we have the opposite. Task sets in which the number of soft tasks were greater than the number of hard tasks. This simulation set also includes task set preemption, which refers to any interruption due to scheduling decision. Again, EDF-GQ presented better results than EDF-LQ. And last, the last simulation result we show here, we fixed the number of hard tasks and varied the number of soft tasks. So we have from 3 to 48 soft tasks, and the fixed number of uh, 24 hard tasks. In this context also, the Slack server behaved better for EDF-GQ. Notice that when we increase the number of soft tasks, we are increasing, also increasing the concurrency for the Slack server and the system. Now our final remarks. So we presented an EDF-based scheduling approach that deals with mixed task set. And two configuration framework were defined. We have some interesting results, which shows that global queue management um, for soft tasks provided an overall better behavior than managing these soft tasks in local queue. 
their responsiveness was improved and deadline miss ratio decreased on average, uh, our framework has shown to be flexible enough to be adapted to other different EDF-based scheduling policies, and we have some open issues, such as how this framework behaves in global scheduling. So here we present some references, which were important in this presentation, and we'd like to thank for your attention.